Competition healing or focused healing, uh, healing for IGP Shih Tzu sport. The next step is to start moving uh, with the dog uh, and uh, to ensure that he keeps the position. Just to uh, summarize what the dog is supposed to learn by this point is that he needs to know to move along with you when you start moving. He needs to know to sit down when you stop. And uh, he needs to know to sit in a proper position, which is by your, uh, by the side of your leg. So we've trained uh, on the previous, in the previous steps, we've tried to explain to the dog all those little uh, processes, and now we kind of put in everything together, and finally we start moving with the dog. And uh, I missed one thing: the dog has to pay attention to you. So today I have uh, a bit of a tool. This is the riding crop. Um, I will be holding it in my left hand. He, he, he hasn't seen it. No, that's not for chewing. Um, so this is for me to feel when his rear is not in a proper position. This is not to correct the dog uh, in, in any way, but uh, once he feels that he is... Uh, so I'll, I'll be holding it on his side, you know. And when I feel that he is pushing this away with his rear, tap a little bit just to make sure he controls and he's aware of his rear as well as he's aware of his front. So we'll see how it goes. And uh, uh, today we'll be healing with the leash on and I'm putting the leash on the uh, choke chain. Uh, the reason being if I need to correct him only if he is not paying attention to me, then I will correct him. Uh, and then, as always, I'm wearing my long sleeve shirt because the ball position will be under my armpit and he's pretty chewy on the ball and the ball is slimy. So I prefer to wear something um, that helps protect my clean clothes. All right, let's see. Okay, you ready? As always, we start with the basic position and the basic exercise for the dog to get his mind in here and re recall that he has to be attentive. So I don't have much distance here, but as you can see, he is really waiting for the ball. So he's in the right position. He's a little, a little bit behind, but uh, that will come in practice. Um, so for now, what I'm only focusing is that don't uh, don't lose attention. Look at me all the time. Move along with me, and we'll do the rest. So for now, what I'll be doing, or oh, instead of just walking and st stopping, I'll be moving along. Hey, no. Uh. -uh. I'll be move, moving, only moving. So I'll start with the basic position and then move and reward. And I will reward at a different distances, after one or two steps, sometimes after five steps, sometimes after 10. And so gradually I'll be kind of um, uh, extending how many steps I'm making before I reward him. I think by the time we'll reach about 20 steps, I will introduce stopping again. But until then, the dog needs to learn to feel his body along with me when he's moving. And mm -hmm. you need to give the dog the space, which is more steps, for that to, to figure out all those little pieces for him to look at you, be uh, correct at the front, and also be correct at the back. So, once again. Come on. Good boy. 
come on, come on. Hey, try again. Uh -uh. No. Yes, good boy. And so on. We, we don't have much steps here to show you longer, but the longer you walk, it is better for the dog because he has enough room to figure out. Because as you can see, he wants the ball. I, I, he wants the ball, and so he's a bit jumpy at the beginning. So the more you, the more steps you can do, which, but uh, keep in mind it shouldn't be too long. But 10, 15 steps is good right now. The more you can do at this point, uh, the, the better it is for the dog to figure out uh, his body position and actually what the exercise is about. So anyways, it's, it's a little bit gradual process, but as you can see, all the steps that we've done before are correct. The dog is very attentive to me, right? And uh, as I mentioned one of the previous videos is that if the dog doesn't have attention to you in healing, the rest falls apart. The dog loses position, loses attention, and so on. So make sure the dog is really attentive first before you start progressing further. Happy training. Puss. Yes. Good boy. Good boy. Try again. Try again. No, no. Puss. Puss. Atos, enough. No, no. Good. Good, good. Yes. Good boy. Come on, give it to me. So this, this last try. Hey, enough. Hey. Uh, as you could see, he was misbehaving a little bit because there is a cat. Uh, hell on the fence <clears throat> so he, he's kind of not very attentive and then he started jumping and then he started swinging a lot so I had to really correct him which I don't really like doing with the crop but that helped him figure out get back into the position and eventually he corrected himself and that's when I rewarded and also you've heard me trying to guide him I was saying no when he was too jumpy and then once he started walking instead of just jumping up and down then I said good I help him understand that's what I want and I rewarded it immediately so let's try again Now he did it very well and uh, we'll finish on that today's exercise and happy training.